Hey guys, Tobin Strickland, TroutSupport.com. Just out here on the water. Wanted to give you guys a little uh, sneak peek at Reef Recon on my HDS Gen 2 Touch. All right guys, we're looking at the screen of my Lowrance HDS Gen 2 Touch. And I'm gonna show you a quick preview of what you're gonna see with Reef Recon. Here we're looking at the base map with the bottom topography on it. Uh, whatever base map you wanna use, that's fine. They're all great general information. Reef Recon is designed to overlay your existing base map, whether that be a third party map like Navionics or Lawrence's base map, whatever you wanna use there. So here we are out in the middle of Galveston Bay, looking at my HDS Gen 2 touch screen, and we're gonna turn on Reef Recon. I've already installed it. And there you go, we're sitting outside of Pipeline Reef. All these purple polygons are deep reefs that are not marked on your base maps. So we're gonna drive over this reef so you can get a little bit of an idea of how accurate uh, this mapping is. And we're gonna do a dual setting here with structure scan on the bottom as well as the map here on the top. But the purple line you see is what I've marked at the edge of the reef. On these deeper reefs I included the outside band of scattered mud and shell that's an interpretation that I created, and I chose all those points. It's gonna change for the whole reef and each individual reef. And here as we get closer to the reef, I'll talk you through what I'm seeing here. We're just out going on across uh, open clean mud bottom. And here you're just starting to barely see the first little bits of shell on the outside of the reef, you'll see that increase here in a second. Now we're seeing some bits of shell on the outside of the reef. And that will begin to get denser as we go across the reef and head across the top of the reef. You'll see a solid section of reef. Right here now is where you can see the solid section of reef in the screen. Kind of going across pipeline reef at an angle here. So I hope that gives you a little bit better perspective of what we did with Reef Recon and all the work that went into it to cover Galveston Bay, Trinity Bay, west, east, all of it. A lot of stuff on there. Hours and hours and hours, thousands of hours of side scanning while you guys were fishing. I stopped fishing so that you guys could know where these reefs are and have a good line and that you could use this stuff on the water. These, these reefs are out here and look, there is nobody, there is nobody out here on Pipeline Reef. There are no pot lickers on Pipeline Reef with Reef Recon. You can find some places to fish, good shell reefs with good substrate and good oyster on them with nobody around. That's the beauty of Reef Recon. Guys, this map's gonna really open things up for a lot of people. It's going to allow you access to find spots and fish spots of good reef, good shell structure with nobody on it. So I hope you like it and get it today. Oh, a lot of guys have asked if you can use this over um, any other maps. This will overlay on top of any other third party map like your Navionics. It doesn't interfere with hot spots or anything like that. So if you've got those, this just is going to add a lot of information on top of that and allow you guys some places to fish uh, that's nobody knows about and it's all here uh, a lot of guys are also asking uh, can I use this on my Simrad Evo or NSS any of those and yes you can use this on Simrad you can use it on Lowrance Hook Lowrance Elite Elite TI and uh, the carbons uh, if you've got a carbon or an Elite TI or a Simrad email me after your purchase and I'll make sure you get the right file type and walk you through installing it if you need to. We're here to help guys. Uh, hope you like it. Enjoy.